Welcome back to Lightroom Classic 2020. And today we're gonna to take a look at presets, but before we get into presets, there's something that you should know about color photography. Let's assume that we've toned this color image and this is exactly how we want it to look. A perfectly toned color image does not translate into a perfectly toned black and white image. If you plan on using something black and white, you need to tone it in black and white, not color and then convert it over. So if I was to come over here and switch this over, what you're gonna see is a lot of these values and kind of this darker or mid-tone area become too muddy. And when you're toning inside of black and white, you need to bring out your highlights and have a longer or wider tonal range than you do in color. So one of the issues that you run into sometimes when using presets are, presets are a general setting. The problem with presets is it might work really good on one photo, but the next photo that you come to, it doesn't work well at all. So when you're working presets, it's great to have them and it's great if you wanna buy them and use them, However, you have to know how to adjust them to make it work specifically for your image. These are not like one click options that make the world perfect. You have to know how to use Lightroom. You have to understand photography. And when using presets, it's not a matter of just going over it and it's gonna be perfect. In each image, you're gonna need to apply more or less to specific areas to make it work perfectly for each individual image. We can come in here to our presets and I've opened up color. And now as you hover over it, it shows you what it's going to look like. So you can see natural, now bright is looking a lot better because this image is a little bit flat. So I can click on this. What a preset is, is just adjustments. So somebody who's good at toning comes in and makes some adjustments. Now when they created these, they made a natural and then they said, well, a person who tones a little bit flat, let's make it a little bit bright, and then their photos will look better. It's not some super secret, it's just actually knowing how to tone. So why don't I use presets? Because I can do it quicker myself over in the develop module than I do with presets. So you won't see me doing a lot of like basic adjustments inside of presets. When you're trying to do some effects, if there are effects that you do like split toning, that's when it's really helpful to have a whole bunch of different presets because it allows you to do complex tasks faster. So we can go over here and see these different areas. So you can see this matte effect. This makes this image actually look horrible. Is it giving it the matte effect? But yeah, if I click on it and give it the matte effect, you can see how dark and muddy this got. So I would actually need to come in and brighten this area. It's giving the matte effect but it's not done well because not every image is exactly the same. So let's come in here and take a look at some other ones. So we've got some desaturated contrast and we can come in here, we've got some turquoise and red where we're increasing turquoise and red. Now the best way to learn what the presets do is to come in here and start playing around with them. What we're gonna do is actually create a preset and save it so you understand how to create and make your own presets. So what we will do is we're gonna convert this image to black and white. And just like I said before, it's not looking good. So this adjustment here is working, but it's not working really well. So let's go into the black and white adjustment. Now this is a letting us apply or adjust each color inside of the image, the black and white. So you can see right here, this is all making a huge difference. I'm just taking the different areas and adjusting that color in the image and applying it to this. And this is all making this image look a whole lot better. Even purple worked and purple doesn't usually have that much, especially magenta, we'll come in here and fix that. All right, so this is getting it better. Is it perfect? No, so let's go back up here, the adjustment brush. So we need to brighten this image up just a little bit brighten it up to about there. Now I'm gonna come in here to the adjustment brush. This is gonna be key. We'll double click effects so we can reset everything at zero. And I'm gonna open up my shadows a lot. And then I'm just going to open up my highlights and maybe my exposure. Now, if it's too bright, it's not a huge 
issue here. We can always come back and adjust that and get it exactly where we want after the fact. A lot of times you just need to do sort of an adjustment. You're just guessing, though I guessed looks like good here. And we're not gonna get it perfect. Looks like it's a little bit bright, so we'll bring it down just a little bit, just a hair here. So we're getting these values out. Now this branch is a little bit bright, so I'm gonna come in here and hit new, click effect, take my exposure, drop that down a bit, paint that in. Just want that to be darker on that area. Now let's assume that this has been toned really well and we like this. We're gonna come down here and we are going to add a little split toning to this image. And in this image, we're gonna go ahead and grab this and we're gonna pick this color here for highlights. We're gonna pick this yellow. And right down here in the shadows, we're gonna, I wanna think, so we're gonna, that blue right it's a little bit too saturated I want a muddier blue it's pretty good we'll go with that one right there we'll close that out now remember we can adjust or slide the slider so we can make the colors less intense take the saturation down just a little bit you can also change the balance so you've got more of your shadows or more of your highlights in the image we're going to do it so it's a little bit more of the shadow areas and let's say this is a preset that i use all the time because i absolutely love this image so what we can do is come up here to the presets and click the plus icon we can hit create preset import presets or manage presets so in this case we want to create a preset first thing we're going to do is we're going to give this a Name, and we're going to call this B and W. Blue, yellow, split. And I want to put this inside its own group. So I'm going to come up here and hit new group. And I'm going to call this new group my presets. Call it whatever you want, but this is just creating my own presets go ahead and hit that so inside of my presets now you're going to see a blue you're going to see a black and white blue yellow split tone and down here are the settings now this is what i did to the image and you need to come in here and select everything that you did do i want to just apply in this case it's all set up for just noise reduction i don't even have noise reduction what things that i do to this image that I wanna save in this preset. You don't have to save the basic adjustments that I did. Does this really make sense to save the black and white adjustment? No, because I can guarantee you this black and white adjustment isn't gonna work perfectly. However, I can save it if I'd like, but you're probably gonna to have to come back in here and readjust this image. Now the issue is when you're saving, when you're adjusting in black and white, I'm adjusting the color in this image, make these values pop up. Well, the next image might not have some of these colors, so this adjustment really isn't doing anything. So I need to decide what aspect that I want to save. No, we want to do split toning, so I can come up here and hit split toning. And I can just go through it. Do I want to do the treatment and profile? Do I want to do my basic adjustments? I could, but my next image might be a little underexposed or overexposed. So do I wanna do that? Black and white mix, I could save that. So in this case, we're just gonna do the black and white mix in the split toning. I'm not gonna do my basic tone because it's probably gonna be a different adjustment. But I need to remember, most likely I'm gonna to have to adjust black and white mix, even if I'm using a preset. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit create. And what we'll do is we'll go to another image. So we're gonna to go to this image that we were working on before, and I'm gonna go ahead and select that. But then I'm gonna go over to my presets, and now we have my presets so we can open that. So the first thing that I'm gonna to need to do here for this preset is turn this to black and white. Now remember, this image hasn't been toned. I'm just hitting a preset. I converted this to black and white. What I want you to see here is this black and white image. Then I'm gonna come over here and click this, and it's gonna do that conversion. So it's adding that black and white mix and that split tone. The issue here is that 
This image hasn't been toned, so it's really dark here, and this is overall gonna be too muddy. Now, when you see something on the screen, it's always gonna look better than when printed. When you print, it dumbs down. It can't hold the same tonal values that most computer screens can show you. So where I've done a preset and it's done an effect, it is important to remember that you have to tone the image before you apply a preset that doesn't have like basic toning. Now I could come up here and try to apply some basic toning to it. I can go to the black and white and I can say, give it a, some adjustment. But the problem with these presets is most of these presets are what are called global adjustments, meaning they apply something everywhere. The problem here is most photography is actually a selective adjustment. So you're gonna click on the adjustment brush and apply adjustments to specific areas. They aren't global adjustments. Just because you use presets, remember, you need to tone your image and keep your presets simple to make them more effective as you tone images in Lightroom. Hopefully this has been helpful. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.